Many factors affect fishing, wind, current, temperature, etc. None is so critical to understand as atmospheric pressure, also known as barometric pressure. Simply put, the atmosphere has weight. We use a barometer to measure the weight, or force, exerted by the atmosphere. Pressure chases itself around the earth like a dog chases its tail, constantly changing from high to low again and again. As a general rule, we should use a pressure of 29.92 to determine average sea level daytime pressure. Anything above 29.92 is high pressure and anything below 29.92 is low pressure. When examining pressure for fishing, how high and how low isn't as important as which direction the pressure is moving and how fast it is moving there. Pressure tendency is the direction the pressure is moving. For example, a pressure reading of 29.85 with a tendency of plus 0.03, you have low pressure that is increasing. How does all of this affect fishing? Fish feel the weight of the air pressing on the water and it affects the air in their organs, especially their swim bladder, which manages buoyancy. Imagine a fish feeling gassy and bloated during increasing pressure and feeling relieved during dropping pressure. Generally, when pressure is low and increasing, fish will go lower in the water column and the bite will be slow. They're gassy and don't want to eat. Pressure that is stable near 29.92 will be average fishing. Try new fishing techniques in these conditions. Pressure above 29.92 and falling will be ideal feeding conditions with a bite near the surface. They're relieved of their gas and hungry. Use caution, falling pressure often signals poor weather. Using this knowledge to understand the fish and how pressure affects their mood will help you be a better lander.